Hey, I'm Gerald Hatton. And I'm Tammy. And we are the senior pa pastors, right? No, I don't like that. Let's say uh, lead pastors. Lead pastors? We're the lead clergy. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Well, we're the pastors of... We're just Gerald and Tammy. Yeah, Gerald and Tammy, and we're the leaders of... We're the we're God's chosen for breathe ATL. <laughs> Come on, God's chosen. <laughs> we're yes. God's chosen. We're God's chosen for breathe ATL, and um, we're just two people that um, love God sincerely, um, love each other. You still love me? Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> and we're just excited and breathe ATL is like, oh my God, I'm, I feel good, Tammy. You feel good? You're not scared? I'm scared. I don't look scared. No, look at my hand. You're shaking. Whatever. You don't look scared. I don't look scared. Mm -mm. How do you feel about Breathe? I'm excited. I, um, I'm looking forward to it. I think I've known that this day was going to come wow. longer than you have. Absolutely, because I didn't know it was coming. I Listen, y'all don't understand. I've been running for Jesus a long time, but I was running, literally running from pastor in the church. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited. I'm not I'm not scared, though. You're not scared? Mm -mm. We're going to do it afraid. Well, I'm not scared. I'm scared. So you I'm going to do, do it afraid. Do it afraid. <laughs> And you just say, calm down, Gerald. Calm down. Calm down. But um, we just um, um, glad that God gave us this uh, vision to start breathing. So you had no idea you would be pastoring? No. Absolutely no idea you would be pastoring? N no, I didn't. When did it click? Maybe a year ago. I finally said yes. And doors have been opening. Mm. I've seen them open. Mm. I've seen you move. Oh, anyway. um, but doors have been opening and um it's a new chapter in our life and I'm ready to God to write the chapters right so the what vision. did you think you would be doing in Atlanta serving at a church uh producing records writing songs um chasing you <laughs> um beating up my kids you know, wow yeah okay gotta, gotta, you know so basically the same thing we did in LA. That's what you, you were just, we were just shifting coast. Yeah, because you wanted to move. I definitely wanted to move. So we did that, but um, you, God used you. You just sang that you. Yeah, you, uh, but <laughs> stop that. But no, God used you in a special way, really. Um, you said purpose didn't live in LA purpose anymore. Purpose no longer lived in LA. You know, I went back, I went back home to LA, what, about two months ago? Yep. And I landed at LAX and you know, all the palm trees and about. right there by the ocean and all that. And it's definitely beautiful, but Absolutely. it was never more clear to me than that moment that purpose no longer lived in LA for me. Purpose didn't live in LA anymore. Yeah. As far as, well. No, I just felt like we, we had maxed out. We were very comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Like life was good. We lived well, very comfortable. Um, good jobs. But I just, yeah, I just, but I think, yeah. I think comfort is the enemy of, of purpose and destiny. I really do. I agree. And so I think because as long as you're breathing, come on, breathe. As come long on. as you're breathing, um, I believe that God has something for you to do. Yes. And when you get too comfortable and too relaxed, that hinders all of that. Wow. And so things were so good yes. in California until um, I know we wouldn't have been doing this. And Breathe ATL wouldn't have been birthed out of L.A. No, because we, I was. We never would have passed it in LA. No, because my brother's there, my friend, Pastor Nissan, Warren, Bishop Noel Jones. I was comfortable, just and then like we were I was. Really busy doing other stuff. Yeah, and I was comfortable in Detroit. Yeah. Before we moved to LA, and then LA was a God move. Because I remember. It me out of my comfort I remember zone. before we, or, or when we first left Detroit, um, that all you would do is play the keyboard. You yes. wouldn't move from behind the keyboard. Nope. You told your mother, if you if God gives you a word for me, tell me at home. You, or call me. Yeah, don't say don't nothing to me Don't tell me in front of this. Don't, don't tell call me, me from behind listen, the keyboard. Listen, do not tell me in front of all these people what God told you to tell me. Call me or tell me when I get right. to the house. And so then when, we moved, when we moved to LA, yeah. you started singing and started directing yeah. the choir and yeah. started talking on the mic. Listen, I got to the point that they had to shut me up. <laughs> I go up to them like, you want me to make the announcement? <laughs> like, so I went from being boxed in to, or sitting, at, staying in the background, yeah. to being out front. Right. All because of a move. But now looking back, because yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. You know, God so was just preparing you for, for these kinds of moments. I, I know what I want to ask you. What? Because I know you. You're not, you? I know you. Okay. You're not what people would probably call a, a preacher. preacher. I'm allergic to um, podiums. 
<laughs> I really am allergic to podiums. They make me itch for some reason. I feel like my dad, my dad, he'll be 80 years old in like a month. And that's how I feel when I stand behind a, a podium. So how do you, how do you see yourself doing this? Because tonight is going to be not necessarily your first time, you know, speaking and sharing. Because right. I've been ministering. Yeah. I minister it. Absolutely. But the, I think the minute you put a title to something, there's an expectation. So That's I, why we're not going to call it preaching. Oh, we're not? No. What it's it's going to be the preach. It's not going to be called preaching. It's going to oh, be called the conversation. The conversation. So like the word that. time will be called the conversation. And I'm going to give you whatever God gives me to give you. I'm going to give it. I'm going to say what God tells me to say, and I'm going to say it my way. I'm not going to do it the way I've seen other preachers do it. I'm not going to um, do it the way, because I think the enemy wanted me to feel um, like, can I be very transparent? Mm -hmm. We were just at John Gray um, service on Wednesday night, right? Right. And Wednesday night, the preacher preached, and he was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. He was so dope. While he was preaching, I'm looking at him going like, <laughs> I can't do that. I can't. Oh my God, I can't do it like that. That's what I was saying the whole time in my mind while wow. he's sitting there in church, and he's killing, yeah. right? But then God said to me, he, he's not you, you're not him. Do it wow. your way, Wow. and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, to answer your question, I'm gonna do it my way. And with that being said, you can worship your, your way, way mm -hmm. at Breathe ATL. I don't care if you just wanna sit there and just do this and rock back and forth. I don't care if you wanna jump and run and scream around the building. I don't care if you wanna do like Dorian and pass out. Um, He's our professional praiser here at Breathe ATL. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want to do, worship your way. Atlanta, Georgia was a total God move. You agree? Agree. We didn't know it at the time. No. You fought me every step of the way. Absolutely. You came against the woman of God. Absolutely. And, um, but I told you, trust me. Yes. I think you started trusting me maybe three weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> about it, Atlanta. But Still Atlanta, don't trust you. Shut up. But Atlanta was a God move, but it was also like one of the hardest things. Because you, you think that when God has you doing something, it's easy. Mm -hmm. You know how people always say stuff like, you can tell it's not God because it's hard. And it, But no, like when God has you doing stuff, it, it has hard moments. Yeah. And I think um, Atlanta was rough. It has well, been rough. But Tammy, the move was absolutely smooth. The, because God wanted us to get here. Yeah, the but once we got here, the, that thing was like a, a plane with a lot of turbulence. Listen, a whole lot. And um, and then well, I think what made it even more disturbing, uh -huh. right, is that we left a really comfortable yes. situation. Yes. Like we left a really comfortable situation. A whole lot of comfortable um, situations. Right, amazing church that we had been at for 15 yeah. years. And, yeah. uh, you know, In all my kids there. Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> You know, living situation was amazing. Yeah. And we came to Atlanta yeah. and we literally took a pay cut coming. Absolutely. Over half, we took over half of, uh, you know, a pay cut over so half. So far, you're telling the truth. I'm waiting on you to tell a lie because so far, <laughs> you're telling the truth. And so, <laughs> you know, we were like, but it's okay because the cost of living is cheaper. You know, gas isn't $5 a gallon yeah. like it is back home in LA. So now that's like, the truth. Amazing. Right? And you said, okay, you know, a pay cut, we can live with that. Yeah, so, um, and then, so we're here. We're here. And Are you happy? I'm, I'm happy. I had such peace of mind moving to Atlanta. Yeah, me too. Actually, I, I'm happy because you're happy. Um, and now um, I'm super happy. Really? Because of Breathe ATL. Because of Breathe ATL. Yes. And God just dropped that thing on you. Even the name, it because did. we had literally named, we were naming the church something else. Absolutely. We had logos, had LLCs, all of that yeah. stuff in another name. And yeah. then uh, one day God just kind of, I left the house, so you weren't listening to me, so you were obviously listening to him. <laughs> well, it was either you or God or you. And I'm, yeah, usually I loud, I'm usually the loudest <laughs> in the house. So, yeah, and, yeah. and God said, breathe. Yeah. And, and, uh, and here He said, are. breathe. And then once I told um, the team, I did a video. I don't know if anybody ever seen it, but I did a um, video on Instagram. I got so many <laughs> DMs. I got so many DMs about um, breathe. Yeah. And then it just sound good. Breathe. It did. It feels we, good. Because we all have to breathe. Like, like just to be able to catch your breath. Like, yes. Because you have moments and times where things just feel like. Speaking of, let me smell your breath. Blow. Just blow. What? Blow. Okay, it's good. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, it's breathe ATL. Somebody said, <laughs> somebody did say we needed a peppermint endorsement. <laughs>
right. Somebody said that. But anyway, but yeah, so so now we're, we're getting ready to, to do this breathe thing. Yeah. You're scared. I'm scared. I'm excited. But I'm going to do it afraid. You're going to do it afraid. And I know, I know for sure it's God. Yes. Because you could care less what anybody said. You could care less what anybody yeah. prophesied. Like I don't. You. They could have stood you in front of the church, and and it could have been like they could have had bleed. They could have been bleeding from their hands and feet. You'd have been like, I don't care what you say. Right. I'm not preaching. All right. So it had to be God that that told you to Definitely do it. Definitely God. And uh, I'm just I'm glad that you you running with this. I'm like I'm excited to see We're what's running gonna happen. It. Well, you know I'm I'm running behind you. But Come on. No, you're running side by side. Because if you were behind me, you'd be behind me right now. Pastor Gerald, is that how you're going to talk no, to your wife? No, it's just Gerald. Is that how you're going to talk? We're not going to have that kind of church where the pastor talk to his wife <laughs> any kind of way. We're not doing I'm that. I'm whispering you here. Don't stop it. Shut up. Hello. Oh, my God. Atlanta, we are so glad that you came tonight. I'm sorry. Hold on. You can't mess up my hello and not let me say who I am. You didn't do what I wanted to do. How are you going to do that? That's what you're going to be doing at this church. You had your moment and you blew it. It was like slow going. No, it wasn't a moment. It was it wasn't even a half a second. All right, go ahead. Let's see what you got. Can I try it again? Go. Hello, I'm Gerald Hatton. I'm Tammy. And we're the senior pastors. No, no, no. Um, no. Lee pastors, maybe. Lee pastors. We're God's chosen. Oh, that's so. For Breed ATL. Just Gerald and Tammy. Okay, we're Gerald and Tammy, and we are. What's our title? Lead pastors of Breathe ATL. I said that. <laughs> and we're so glad you came to worship with us tonight. Yes, we're glad you're here. And I'm sorry. See, every time I just leave it to you, you you miss, you can have one job. And you just keep dropping the ball. Let's Toronto, try. Golden State. You keep dropping the ball. Wow. Anyway. Wow. So here we go. Let's try this one more time. What? Let me <laughs> Let's try this one more time. And sing. Okay, here we go. I'm Gerald Hatton. I'm Tammy Hatton. And we're the lead pastors of Breathe ATL. ATL. And we're excited that you're here right now with us. Absolutely. Yes. We now. hope that you have an amazing worship experience. If you don't know quite what to do, we would like to direct you to a young man here tonight. His name is Dorian. Dorian. He is our professional praiser here right. on staff. You he's can't somewhere. miss him. Yeah, you can't miss him. Because he's going to, oh, he'll be doing that all yes. night. So. He has the gift to quicken. Right. So he's around here somewhere <laughs> doing that. So if you don't know quite what to do, look for him. Look for Dorian. <laughs> and he's going to raise his hand. But no, just kidding. But um, we want you to worship your way. Yes. Now, what does that mean, worship your way? That mean if you're a runner, that mean if you're a screamer, that mean if you're a jumper. I need for you, I need for you to put the S on that. That means. That means if you're a runner. That means if you're a screamer. Means. That means if you're a runner. <laughs> that means if you're a screamer. That mean if you're a crier. Um, whatever you do, worship your way. Yes. Um, if you just want to sit there and just uh, bask in it, you can do that. Because um, our pastor, Bishop Noel Jones, said before, he said, a lot of times people don't know, we don't know what it took for you to get here and get in, this pre in the presence of God. So when you're in the presence of God, whatever it is you do. Do what you, works if, for you. Do what works for you. And but what, do something, though. Right. And we hope what you take away from this service tonight is a sense that you have just been able, in the midst of whatever it is you're going through, whatever life has happening for you right now yeah. that you're just able to catch your breath for just a minute and PG was saying to me the other day that there's 10,080 Eight. minutes yeah. in a week you spend maybe 80 minutes in, in church. church and so we hope tonight that we give you something that helps you be able to handle the other 10,000 10, so tonight get ready let's worship 